Q103 Studio. Wes! Rick! What up, son? <laughs> How you doing, brother? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm really good. I'm just hanging out with Ray G. And, uh, dude, I'm, I'm so pumped that we're fighting. I mean, after it's been uh, a year and five months, maybe even a longer since we've hung out, but I'm so excited that we're finally coming through and we're going to get to kick it. Dude, I can't wait, man. I was happy when we finally was able to confirm it all up and announce it uh, earlier this week, May 7th. You, Framing Hanley, Devour the Day, Star Set. Uh, it's going to be a killer show, man. Great lineup, by the way. Great lineup. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I, when I saw everything pop up, I was like, dude, a bunch of cool young bands. You know, Framing Hanley, good friends of ours. Awesome place. My boy Wes. You know, I think my parents are going to come in for it. It's just it's lined up to be one of the uh, more exciting nights for me on tour. Wait a minute. Your parents are going to drive up from Philly? Yeah, you know they they don't get to see me enough, man. You know I'm 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 gone so much. You know uh, I think at this point, if I'm like a five hour drive within them, they're like, we're going. Well, that's cool though. At least they drive up to see you. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I I think sometimes my dad is definitely old fashioned. He's like, ah, oh, a two hour drive. You know, if they find anything to, to complain about, but you know, he knows he don't get to see me. He never gets to see me. Well, that's right, man. I mean, you're living out in Vegas. You, I mean, you got a family of your own now. You're out on the road. You're coming out with your new album. Exactly. I got a little munchkin, man. I can't be. I can't be just flying back to Philly. You know. How, how, how much has that changed your life, man? Since uh, I mean, now that you're a touring father, I mean, from the last album to this album, it's lots changed for you, just personally. It makes you hungry, man. It makes you hungrier than ever. I'm hungrier than ever right now. You know, from for my family, for my children, for rock and roll, for our fans. I'm. I'm. You got a hungry rocker in front of you, man. You know, and you're gonna hear that on the album we made you're gonna hear that on the live show when we come on the seventh you know what i mean you're gonna hear it all around we're coming to be elite on this record we're gonna be one of the elite bands of this of this era of rock music and we're coming and this record's gonna help us get there well and i mean great way to kick it off with dog on a leash is the first single it sets the tone for the album man you know i i think uh i, th- I want to say you know once you dig into the record things get better from here it's 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 a great uh, precursor for what's to come. It, it, it starts you out with energy and, and angst and vibe, and then it leads you into the musical journey, man. 13 songs of getting lost inside of an album. Now, my question is, I haven't seen anything on it, but do you have an, uh, uh, an actual title for it yet? You know, we do have the title. But you're not but giving it out yet. <laughs> I, you know what? I love you so much, because you're my homie, that I will say this. There's a couple songs on the record that I really love and that are really, really you know, uh, special to me emotionally. And uh, one, of the re- one of the songs on the record is my favorite song of the record is a song called Stuck. Clue. Clue. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the clue, bro. Oh, that's the clue. Oh, I thought, I thought I heard Ray in the background, like, telling you not to say something. Oh, no, no. I think that's just the reverb off my, a little bit of, I get a little reverb off the mic, I think. I got you. All good, all yeah. good. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah. Right. Stuck's, Stuck's my favorite song off the record. So we'll leave it at that. But uh, when are we going to see it come out? Uh, it's going to come out June or July. They're 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 uh, finalizing a date right now. You know, we're really everyone's working really hard behind the scenes to match the effort that we put into this every step of the way. I mean, from the songwriting to recording to mixing to mastering to the rollout to to everything. The entire team has been so focused and driven and creative, and the magic is here on this man. And we made the right album. For our fans, for rock and roll, for just the big picture, man, we made something special. We came in with a chip on our shoulder to really come in and write a record that that could be considered uh, one of the best records of this time. I want people to listen ten years from now and be like that Adelita's Way record. Uh, I remember, I remember those years of my life from that record. I swear, though, I think every time, just because of how impassionate you are about rock, I think we've said you said something similar to every album. And not saying those albums haven't lived up to it, but you're just that passionate about what you do. I, I am that passionate about what I do, and I think we grow every record. But, you know, I think there was, there was so much to fuel the fire uh, coming into this third album as far as just where I think rock and roll is and where I think I am and, and how close I think we are to being elite. I think I, this one, there was, there was the most... Uh, kind of magic circling all the orbs. You know, you know what I mean? Like, like overall, I felt like the, during the process, you know, this wasn't an easy record to make. I mean, there was there was so many ups and downs in the year and a half that we put this thing together. So many emotional roller, you know, emotional roller coaster of an experience. And uh, now that I look back on where the record is, and I and I take a step back, I promise you, when I give you this record, you're gonna call me and be like, dude, I'm so proud of you. I could. So- I, would you, know? you dare, would you dare say it's like catching lightning in a bottle right now? 
I do. I think this is going to end up being what's considered, you know, Metallica had the Black Album. I think this is going to be our Black Album. And I, and I approached it every step of the way like that. I approached it like this record was a career record for for me as an artist and, and for me to set the tone for what I'm capable of as a single, as a singer, as a, as a writer, as uh, just an, an artist overall. I felt like I captured... Uh, the essence of what of I aspire to be to everyone. You know, I want, like I said, I want people to look back on this era of music and be like, oh, Rick DeJesus was one of the best front men, you know, of that time. And, and their records, you know, I used to listen to them all the time. You know, I want them to have a connection with, with us and with me. Well, I got to tell you what, man. I mean, in the sense of front man, I mean, not just saying this as your friend, but I mean, obviously we got you coming to the town May 7th at Upstate Concert Hall, but you have de- you are definitely one of the funnest guys to watch on stage because the energy level you put into it. I, I just because of him passing away most recently, I almost like would liken it to like the Ultimate Warrior when he makes an entrance to the ring. You're just everywhere, man, sh- just running around, hands flying around and all that stuff. Well, you know, uh, first of all, I'll send my prayers out to him and his family because I just found out about that and I'm blown away by it. You know, I, I remember watching him on Raw the other night and, and uh, you know, we were talking, I kind of felt like like so, like he knew that was the last time he was going to be in the WWE ring in front of his audience, which was insane. But, uh, you know, speaking of the live show and the energy, yeah, exactly, that's what I was as a little kid. The Ultimate Warriors are my favorite wrestlers and... And, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of that. When I get on stage, I turn into the bad little kid I was when I was eight, you know, emulating him. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a time for me to get up on stage and let all my energy out and just rock out and connect with the fans. And, and uh, I'm telling you, May 7th, people are going to see the best Adelita's this way they've ever seen. And we really try to incorporate exactly what you're talking about from the live show, the electricity, the vibe, the organicness. We took that approach to recording the album as well. We did a very analog on a board, as live sounding as possible, real amps, real guitars, real instruments, real drums. I mean, it's, it's not all done inside of a box or a computer. I mean, this is a band playing. Well, and the Dog on a Leash, the first single, I mean, it sounds like a very gritty rock track, and it goes right back to you, so like you're saying, they're just recording on analog. Yeah, we recorded analog. We, we, we really made sure that the guitars were... Where, you know, everything has to have a vibe, man. You can't just, you know, I think the computers take away the vibe and the warmth, and we try to minimize that so much with the edits and with the programming. Which Everything I wanted on the record, I wanted to be an instrument, and I wanted to be real, and I wanted to sing the vocal correctly and right, and I really worked hard on this album as a vocalist to make sure I was the best I've ever been on this record as far as uh, how prepared I was you know, working on my vocals and my range and just and just the approach. And so far, it seems like it worked out perfectly for you. We'll find out more as the album will get released June or July, potentially named Stuck, wink, wink. Yeah, right, I like that. Uh, 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 uh. And we'll see you guys May 7th. Rick to Jesus from the band Adelita's Way. Brother, always a pleasure, and thank you for calling in, man. Oh, man, it's always a pleasure. I can't wait to hang. Everyone, buy our single on iTunes, Dog on a Leash. Wes, I love you. I'll see you soon. Thanks for the love always, man.